Wait, hold on a second. I just thought what? of something. I wonder if the, the journal there. characters. Where's Kyrie? No, oh, I have to. I have to leave no, the floor. No, Kyrie was there. No, I, I meant. I wanted nom. I wanted nominee. Oh. I want to know if it said anything about her smell. Uh, it'll, I hope it'll, so. it'll probably. It'll she probably. She smells like lavender. It seems like the the the. Halloween Town, Sor uh, Riku and King didn't get updated until after we left, so she hope Nomine will probably be in here after this cutscene. Gosh. I guess you decided not to go to sleep. How'd you know that? I heard it from Diz. <gasps> Do you know him? Well, I'm not sure. Got a feeling that I've met him. Somewhere. Hey, who are you? I could be nobody or anybody. Mystery! It is up to you whether you choose to believe in me or not. Boy, you really like pushing decisions on other people. And you have pushed away slumber, making the choice to face Ansem. Do you think I'm reckless? You have chosen your own path. Are you supporting me? Or are you abandoning me? That will be your choice as well. What's this? The organization will pursue you. Like a pack of hunting dogs. They will sneak up on you if they sense your presence. However, this cloak that is worn by nobodies will render their eyes and their noses useless. The ears, not so. They wear this to give themselves protection from being devoured by darkness. So, despite the fact that this scene exists specifically to explain to us what the robes do, this scene does not explain what the robes do. You know those portals that they go through all the time? They go, what you and like an oval opens yeah. up and they walk through it and it goes, what you and it closes. Those are called corridors of darkness. They are literally cutting through like wormholes in space or whatever. And if they weren't wearing these robes. They're going into like, they're going into like, not the dark realm, but just some sort of like lesser space that is so, the shadow realm. that is so full of evil and darkness that their heart uh, any, anybody who goes through those spaces, their heart would be overtaken by darkness. So or, ge does. just generally speaking, it would not be good for your health. Um, so those robes prevent the darkness from getting at you. So That seems like a really, r extremely helpful thing in this world. Yeah. Is it clear? Even the organization... Anson's, or he's got the same eyes darkness. as Anson. He does have the same, the same eyes as Anson. eye as Anson. I don't know what the other one... We don't know what the other one is. from the darkness... Hmm. Everybody loves throwing these cards around. The card will draw out your heart's darkness. Finish your business with Ansem. Come on. Let's go. Another Ansem final boss fight. Yeah, but this time we're playing as Riku. Makes it better. Not necessarily makes it better, it makes it different, though. Because now the emotional context behind this is very different. We're fighting for our freedom from this guy. He fights for his friends. Gosh, it, gosh, it sure feels like I've met Diz somewhere before. I gotta, I gotta get a good Mickey voice. I got really good at the Donald and Goofy voice over the course of this campaign. Mickey's hard to do. I'm gonna have to really you know, practice I mean, Mickey's. Mickey, I mean, we're about to beat it. He said this card will draw Ansem out. Don't worry. We can defeat him together. Sorry. I've got to face him alone. But why? There's no point in doing this if I can't do it on my own. But I do need a favor. If Ansem is the victor, he is going to enslave me. If that happens, use your powers to destroy- Of course! I'll be right there to save you. Huh? No, th that's not it. I want you to destroy- No way! No matter what happens, I'm gonna be right there to help you. I promise you that. Unless you don't believe I'll come through for you. I choose to believe in you. 
Always, Your Majesty. And I in you! You're not gonna lose. I know it! Thanks. No, that wasn't the anti-scene. That was the good scene. Good. That was a scene. Did you guys see that scene right there? What just happened in that scene? We learned something about both characters. We learned what the stakes were. We learned what Riku wants to accomplish. How he feels about the situation. I gotta beat him on my own. I have to prove that I'm better than him and that I don't need him. Mickey's like, no, I, I have a gun. <laughs> No, please. I brought I brought this 12 gauge with me. <laughs> this will make things much easier. But then he then we also understand Riku is beyond the character who he was even in the beginning of this game and especially in Kingdom Hearts where he was willing to kill other people, go through all kinds of horrible stuff to get what he wanted. Now, he cares enough about what will happen to to other people around him if he's controlled again mm. that he is willing to have Mickey kill him to prevent that from happening. But we also understand Mickey would not do that. Of course. I mean, I'll, I mean, Mickey Mouse, we know Mickey Mouse's character, but the point is, either way... We know that Disney wouldn't let Mickey have a gun. The point is, either way, we... shoot a child. The point is that that scene was a scene in which it pr moved the story forward and moved both of the characters forward. That is how a scene is supposed to work in media. After we beat this floor, we are going to see an anti-scene. A scene that is so not a scene that lacks anything that should be in a scene that it is baffling. All right. You never let the darkness get the best of you, I'm sure of that! Oh -ho! All right, let's go ahead and save. Yeah, we're on basement one right now. Yeah, this, this is, is the... one more, we'll be on ground level. Ground level is floor one, that's where Sora started with the exit door. We're, after this, we're good. This is the final floor of Riku's story mode. Yeah, you're right, I just realized, like... <laughs> Sora, Sora was at the very tip top. Well, no, I guess it never states that Sora was at the top where that little device was. Like he could have gone back down. I guess they could have right? gone back downstairs. Well, well, you, well we say that. But no, no, she stairs. said they had to go to the thirteenth floor. She said I can fix You're everything right. if you go to the thirteenth floor. You're right. But man, oh man, if you think that that device was it was weird that it could move from the top floor to the second basement, you you ain't seen nothing yet. When it comes to that, that machine's ability is to move around. Good. Castle Oblivion. It's interesting they give you a card when you're as Riku because on Sora's story mode, you just walk in because it's like the top floor, remember? Yeah. It's just here's Castle Oblivion now. Yeah, but I mean, Castle Oblivion didn't have stairs going down and we're like... Yeah, they... there were secret stairs. You had to use a keyblade to like open a secret passage in the wall. Oh wait, so I had a keyblade. Oops. No, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not, who, who knows, who cares, it's not explained. It's a conceit that I'll accept. Ansem, where are you? Show yourself! <laughs> <gasps> Why in such a hurry? I'll be here at the very heart of darkness, watching you plunge into the same darkness inside of you. Alrighty, <clears throat> so you asked a second ago if this was going to be another dungeon crawly floor like uh, like how like uh, Twilight Town that took me the entire length of a feature film to <laughs> run through and uh, kill all the enemies that I wanted to kill. Uh, well, after this goes away, ladies and gentlemen, Castle Oblivion. We're there. Have were We've we ever been inside not it. there? This floor. Uh, looks like this. Okay. So we'll do like one or two encounters and open another room and then open a save room, save, and fight the boss. I'm probably already over leveled, chances are. I mean, I don't know. I haven't like done research on what level I should or should not be for this fight. I don't know what my deck is. There we go, I did nice. it. Aha! Shoot him! That did not work. Oh well. Shoot him with your gun! <laughs> Soul Eater gun. Well, there was a gun. There was, there were guns in Soul Eater, so that's fun. So it's like one of my Japanese, Japanese animes. animes. This is just like one of my Japanese mangas. Mangos. Zambambos. What are you doing, Neo Shadows? You got a lot of cards on you. I don't have as many cards as I'd like to have. They got a lot of HP for what they are. Yeah. I'd like for them to just be jobbers of this area. They're not really, I mean, they're not the jobbers of this area. They're pretty tough. This they area are, is, this but... area is difficult. I mean, I wouldn't imagine there's going to be anybody weaker than them, them though. Uh, no, because the little, the little elemental, no, crud. Oh. 
Now I'm screwed. Yeah, yeah, that was gonna happen. He's just gonna slap you. Are you vulnerable until someone hits you? Uh, no, you're stunned for a little while, but like pretty much reliably, they'll always attack before you recover. Right. It's not until someone hits you, though. I have warp break on, and it's not working. Hey, you. So you're not getting any final hits off. Yeah, I'm not getting any final hits off. Oh, great. Yeah, see, these guys are easier to kill than the Neo Shadows. Okay, yeah. yeah. I don't have any elemental attacks anymore, so... There, I worked that time. You saw how he just vanished, even though I hadn't depleted his health bar? That, yeah. was, the, that was the warp break thing. Cool. What's great about being in, in this form now, uh, as Riku, is that with the warp break thing on, his aerial combo is no longer a combo, he just spins, which means every hit is a finisher. Oh. Oh, that's, that's actually really good for these encounters. Yeah, it's fantastic. If you can get into dark mode... It's really easy. Well, if I can hit him, that is. Yeah, it's fairly reliable. Like, not every time, but... It's pretty consistent. It's more consistent than you would expect for a move that can stand... That can just instantly kill any standard encounter enemy. Exactly. <clears throat> oh, there you are. I got you now. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> It's Man, right. This is like the final area, so I guess I should expect it. There he went. The best thing is if they get caught in your uh, in your final strike, because then like uh, like you can you see you got, I got multiple enemies. With yeah, that. that's great if you can get the final. Just using slights is the best way to do this because it's more effective. Yeah. Somebody's gonna be like, Jacob, you're terrible at this. Yeah, I don't care. Whatever. The fights are short, so I'm not gonna run out of cards before. Here, let me just uh. No, not not that idiot. Shell? I don't know what I don't even know what Shell does. I want this. Thank you. In Final Fantasy terms, it's like Magic, magic Protection, yes. Yeah. So, I mean I I assume it does the same thing, but you never know with Chain of Memories. Yeah, you're right. That's eight. I don't think I'm gonna break that. One of these guys might have a nine, but no, we're good. Okay. Oof. Oh, I'm really close to leveling up. I'm probably gonna after like a couple more enemies, I'll probably level up. Oh crud, I forgot I'm in this mode now. It's not actually gonna be like what I want it to be. Nope. But it means I can do, uh, hold on. Stop that. Oh, I already used Lexius. Okay, well that's a problem. Here, I'll use Maleficent. Yeah, Maleficent is still, like, Lexius is useless for, um, uh, for bosses. Unless maybe it does, like, extra damage on bosses, but I, I highly doubt it. Then again, Lexius used it on me during my fight, so unless it had different properties during his fight, yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's probably not worth it, regardless. Yeah, I think Maleficent. Fight, I think Maleficent is probably more. Anyway. Maleficent is probably more effective for the boss fights than uh, than using Lexius. There we go. All right, give me a level. I don't care. Uh, more attack power. I need to. I need to be doing more damage. Why not? I don't need more health. I'm living on the edge. <laughs> I do probably need more health. Watch Ansem just completely destroy me. Well, I mean, if that's the case, I don't think that little extra bit of health will help too much. Yeah, I need to level up a couple times because the the little slivers of health they give you in this are barely like comparable to a hit. You have to get. Yes, yeah, you look at that. That was like three yeah. upgrades. That health just hit just went through. Oh yeah, you're, I forgot, your health bar doesn't just go all the way around, it has like a big long, like, go across the screen thing. Yeah. It's past the one point. Uh-oh. That's, oh, well, I was going to that say that's one down, but nope. Do you not have any, like, crowd control ones that don't involve Mickey? Nope. No. Oh. I guess this this hits multiple targets. Dark Aura. You Let's go. It. See how it works. It at least does a lot of damage. 
Well, it, it hits, I suppose it does. Oh, that yeah. AoE at the end is pretty effective. There, that's that's where you got confused since he didn't die. Okay. That was what the bosses were resisting when I used it on them. Nope. Just die. There we go. Yeah. Standard encounters. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad this is short. It's a short dungeon. Uh-oh. No, that's fine. I did that. I did that. I made that happen. I hit him. Well. I wanted to hit him. It's fine. Don't worry about it. You trying to get another level up before the boss? I don't know. It's a lot of enemies. Let's see how, let's see how much experience I get from this fight. How much is left? I, had, I need to get eight. Oh, I had like, I had like more than 10,000 a second ago. Or like, yeah, more than 10,000 a second ago. So this, well, okay, yeah, I was, I was at 8,500 something. Let's see how much I have after this fight. And then we'll Each make adjustments. These guys are giving you like 1, 150, like for the most part. Not the bigger ones, anyway. So, yeah, you could probably get another level up before you fight the, the big bad. Oh, I, well, I wanted to use those, Riku, but, you know, whatever. It's really up to you. You're the boss, man. Oh wait, when you do that, it wastes the cards. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't play the cards. If it, if it, if it gets you in a dark mode, then the cards don't play. That's not very good. It's kind of worthless. I mean, not not saying dark mode is worthless, but like they could have do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. There we go. They could have afforded that was to make it a little bit better. That that aerial combo, though. Just spinning. I, I do like the look, but it's like the more I see his little skirt, the more I think, man, they could <laughs> they could have done something a little bit better. I like the skirt. I don't. You you and your skirt, and you and your skirt hatred need to stop. Riku's skirt is cool. <laughs> I mean, it's just I don't know. Like I like the difference. We in can colors. disagree on it. It's fine. <laughs> but I like how the colors are different, but like it just seems unnecessary. But then again, a lot of stuff is. The, the pants are unnecessary. The baggy ones, anyway. Yeah. Whatever. Not not my game, not my art design. No! No, 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 no! Oh, good, that was yeah. good. I can't believe I dodged that. I can't <clears throat> either. I figured that'd chase me until, until it hit me. Or until I broke a card. Friend card, friend card. Give me that. That's all. <laughs> you got a lot of friends. Yeah, well, you know. Mickey's everywhere, man. That branding is pretty strong. No, I'll wait until I get into, like, the actual mode to use that. What is Holy Burst? Is Holy Burst just the Holy Burst spin? is the weak one that spins around. Yeah, now that I'm in this mode, I can use the good one, though. Yeah. Let's see him do it. Inverse Burst. Actually did damage. No, that move is that move's tough, bro. It can what what is that? That's not confusion. Is it? Yeah, that's confusion. Confusion. Oof. Alright. Ooh. 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 Hey, you did it. There we go. I thought about only using two of those Mickeys to heal, but I'm not sure how much two or three does. I thought about like holding off on keeping the zero one and using it for another inverse burst, but uh, changed my mind. I mean, it's almost over. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, I would have sped it up a little bit. Just a bit. Yeah. Wah. Yeah. Wah. Oh, uh, this is something else I forgot. I should have mentioned at some point, but it's coming up now. It'll probably be in like the next episode or episode after the next one. Uh, the end credits in this game, I had to make some changes. I didn't I'm surprised nobody commented on it in the first one. But, uh, basically, the end credits contain a number of spoilers in them. Uh, you, last time, you recall, I was like, oh, wait a second, look away from the screen, because, like, the video stuff. Yeah. And I will be blocking out some video stuff on this one, because this credits sequence does have spoilers in it for the next game. Uh, but, um, uh, the thing I, the one thing I had to block out last time was some of the casting details. Like, you know, here's the character voiced by this actor or whatever. Some of the details, like the character names, were spoilers. I'm not going to say who they were, because obviously you don't want to spoil obviously, anything. Yeah. But let me put it this way. 
if Darth Vader was in this game, then his credit would have been Darth Vader slash Luke's father. Or Darth Vader slash Anakin Skywalker. So it was a bit of a problem. And this was like the credits for A New Hope, not for Empire. So, uh, <laughs> you know, it, just would have been, it, would have, it was a bit of a problem. Yeah, you, you'll get the... Yeah, you just leveled up. Yeah. I did it. As soon as I... As long as I survive this fight. Rah! Man, you, if you ran away, would it not give you the XP? I don't think so. Um, I'm pretty sure it takes away the XP. Okay. And even if it doesn't, who cares? Yeah, I don't no. want to... I'm not running away. I haven't run away this whole time. I didn't run away once as Sora. I didn't run away once as Riku. Riku doesn't run away anymore. This whole, this whole thing is about him not running away. This whole thing is about him facing his, his, his past head on. His true self. Oh. There's his true self. All right. Oh, and they gave me a save card to use. Oh, it's only a one. I'll use that up above. I'm pretty sure that the entrance to the final room only asks for, like, a one. Because it's like, you know, this is the final one. Who cares? Yeah. Uh, I'm getting knocked out of dark pretty fast, actually. So, and I want to stay in dark as much as I can. So we're going to take some extra dark points instead. And that's all I need. You're ready to fight the final boss. Oh, I'm probably anyone. not. Let's wait, for, let's wait for him to kick my butt. Who could it be? Who will we fight? Let's wait for him to kick my butt. It'll be funny. We're gonna fight Mickey. <laughs> Mickey will betray us. This time he has two guns. <laughs> All right, what's the requirements on this door? Thirteen. Okay, never mind. I was wrong. It does require something. It's thirteen floors. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Uh. <laughs> All right, next episode hopefully will be the finale, unless Ansem really, really destroys me. You uh, just spoiled the final boss. Huh? You just spoiled the final boss. Uh, no, I was. I, it was a red herring. We're gonna walk in there, and it's gonna be Mickey. Don't worry. Oh, about it. you spoiled the final boss. 